Tonight, a helicopter pilot deemed a hero is back at home with his family. The medical chopper that he was flying crashed in front of a Drexel Hill church last week. Everyone on board survived. Eyewitness News reporter Kerry Carrado was there for his send off from the hospital. A hospital send off to lift the spirits of a local hero. Emergency responders, hospital staff, family, and friends lined up to honor helicopter pilot Daniel Moore as he was wheeled out on a stretcher and released from Penn Presbyterian Medical Center in Philadelphia. I'm pretty sure God was at least partly on the controls for that one. Moore was seriously injured when the medical aircraft he was flying crashed on the front lawn of the Drexel Hill United Methodist Church. Also on board, a two month old baby and two other crew members. They were headed from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Children's Hospital, Philadelphia. All survived, but Moore says he doesn't remember much about the moment the helicopter was coming down. I really don't remember much of anything, to be honest. I, I, remember, I remember waking up and looking up and seeing a whole company of firefighters looking down at me. That's uh, a real good feeling. Moore's fiance was also by his side and in all over his quick thinking and skillful maneuvers that saved countless lives. What happened that day was nothing short of a miracle. And when I talked to my children, I told them, you know, there were two pilots in that aircraft that day, Dan and God. And anybody who's seen what, you know, what became of that, how he missed the church, missed the power lines, no one on the ground was injured. You can't dispute that there was some kind of divine intervention in there. I'm sorry. The NTSB is investigating the cause of the crash, and the wreckage is in Delaware, where it's being closely examined. Despite all the attention and a long recovery ahead, Moore remains humble. It's been very overwhelming. I, you know, I, I always tell people I just drive the bus. The heroes are in the back working on the patient. In University City, Kerry Carrado, CBS3 Eyewitness News.